I haven't invited you in uh, to the garden yet. So, um, you know, I have relocated from the beach to Crestline, which is a little village, <laughs> tiny town um, in uh, Southern California, about 14 miles up from San Bernardino in the mountains in the forest. And I have this enchanted backyard and I'm getting to know it. And one of the first things I did was come out and just say hello to the trees and um, get to know them. And I added my, um, for Day of the Dead, I added my poets from a couple of years ago when I, when I did the installation for them. Um, and so I have this clock without hands of these dead poets in my backyard uh, to inspire the writer in me to show up at the page. Um, and that is and isn't happening. I think I'm making the work that lets me live here. Um, but now that the holidays have come and gone and uh, the comers and goers have done what they did, <laughs> <laughs> in terms of coming and going, uh, or not, um, I'm here with my dead relatives and my dead poets and my writer's desire and my sustainability art maker, witch poet creature thing that I have always been, that I now have installation space to actually get to be and do something with. So... These are my, this is my clock without hands uh, surrounding um, this sacred ring of redwoods. And just today the garden let me carve a path through the ivy around the trees. And there's all kinds of fantasy about whether or not this will become a place for same-sex weddings or, you know, gay, gay Airbnb or artist residency or just mine and family. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of work I need to do in this fashioning a soul business before I leave the planet. So this seems to be home for it. And there's a path, and I didn't know if I would turn it into labyrinth or not, and I think not. I think it will be either the pathway, the ceremonial pathway for ceremony, <laughs> in whatever way we do that, always a place to honor the dead. But I realized yesterday, or I had some insight that came in the studio yesterday, you know, we're not honoring the dead necessarily. We're honoring what lives after life goes on. I think in the pandemic life, it's important to remember some of us are supposed to <laughs> jump off and do consciousness from the other side. And uh, that's what I think John Lewis did at this very pivotal time. I think that's what Ruth Bader Ginsburg did at this very pivotal time. And I think that's what all the Black Lives That Matter are doing. Not virgin sacrifice to volcanoes necessarily, but certainly a statement about what matters on Earth. And the power paradigm has to shift and change. And so it is, according to me, <laughs> according to what gets revealed in meditation, according to this amazing set of trees. And when I stand in the center, I'm held and loved and made possible. And I like the part of the path I've traveled, and I like the part of the path that's ahead. I don't know if this is the culminating altar space or not. 
I don't know. I don't know what she'll make. She'll inspire <laughs> the sacred ring of redwoods. But I know their roots are all connected underneath. And I know how I feel when I'm standing here. And I think maybe there's a tree house that gives plenty of room for a hundred years of growth. And then maybe there's a ceremonial space underneath it and a honeymoon space above. And maybe there's just cardboard on the ground while I figure out the path to walk in my own backyard. <laughs> It's an amazing season. It's been a trying year. I think we've all learned a great deal about what matters to each of us. I think we've learned a great deal about what matters to us all. I pray for leadership to get it right. I pray for me and all of the other people who relying on unemployment right now to make mortgage payments and rent payments and payments at the grocery store. I pray for all of us who've lost someone to remember what they gave us while they were here. For all of us in the process of letting go of someone to remember life is a gift and wherever we are we have an opportunity to breathe in and deep out and all the way and to offer our gratitude for all the miracles that grow up around us giving us oxygen to breathe from behind a mask Welcome to whatever this gets called, uh, Crestline Creatrix Sustainability Sanctuary. <laughs> I don't know what, but I hope you'll play, collaborate, pay attention, connect. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you want to be a part of what happens here. Blessings on your courage and mine at welcoming in a newest new year.